the change dimension tool this tool will allow you to change an existing dimension that you have placed out there without redrawing it or redoing that dimension so take for example we have these particular items dimensioned for this element right here maybe we want to change some of these dimension attributes maybe we want to put some text below there or maybe we want to force these arrowheads to be inside versus outside maybe we want to change our arrowheads from fill to open just show you some examples of how to use the change dimension tool for if you have dimension that's placed out there and you need to modify it without going back and redimensioning everything get to your dimension tools go to your main mode out toolbar and in that group here there's one that says change dimension it'll bring up a small dialog box that says change dimension if you click on the browse button here's where you can come in here and set up your dimensioning that you want to do. By default right now it's set to small dimensioning because that's what I dimensioned in this drawing. Um, if I had medium dimensioning or small dimensioning or large dimension I need to I would probably want to select that particular dimension style and then come over here and change it. But for this drawing here we just have one style that's being utilized inside the drawings. So we're just going to concentrate on dimension small. But in your tabs across the top here here's where you can come in here and change those particular values if you wish to change your dimension or even change it before you place the dimension That's another thing you could have done so let's say instead of filled arrowheads maybe I want those to be open and then in my terminator here I think by default it's set to terminator moves first I'm gonna force it to be inside so whenever I place a dimension it's always gonna force the arrowheads to be inside and then maybe underneath the units let's go ahead and change your units um, I'm gonna change my secondary units and do a show that way it'll show my secondary units just to show you a few things that we've changed with this particular style now we're gonna come in here and actually select a dimension and change it so I'll move this out of the way now I'm, I'm gonna come over here and identify the dimension dimension that I want to change and I'll just use this one right here I'll select it and then I'll left click again to accept that change and you'll notice now that I have text down below there I also have open arrowheads and it did force those my arrowheads to be inside but they were already inside so it really didn't change anything if I did this one though you'll notice that if I select it and then select it you'll see that I actually forced everything inside because that's why I told it with that particular style and that's what I'm changing it to so that's the change dimension tool it allows you to change a bunch of different stuff inside there um, for this example it did force everything inside I could come back and use my modify tool and actually select that text and drag it up or down to kind of move it out of the way just to kind of clean things up so there's many different things you can change with your dimensions that have already been placed without redrawing those by going and using that change dimension style and coming in here and tweak it to the way you possibly need it for your situation and then go forward. If you want to re reset those values, let's say you came back in here and you changed a bunch of these variables and then you need to get back to the modot default um, dimension style, you can simply come over here and close close down that particular dimension style close down this tool that says change dimension and simply just come back over to your task MoDOT design CAD standards general annotation select the dimension dimension that you want whether it's small medium or large and now it's going to be re reverted back to the MoDOT standards by default for that dimension style whether it's medium small or large whichever one that you selected that's the change dimension tool and basically how it works. It allows you to change an existing dimension that's out there.